Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Madeline and I am currently up at the literal butt crack of dawn. Before the butt crack actually, it's currently 4.30 in the morning. I have to work at 4.45 actually. I'm about to head on out. If this is my first video of yours that you were seeing, I work at the National Institution for Fitness and Sport. I just work in the gym area. The gym opens at 5, so I have to be there at 4.45 to open it up. So yeah, that is why I'm up so early. It is definitely not by choice. I made my water. I need to put that in my lunchbox. Um, I made an iced coffee. And then this lunchbox is from Amazon. It was super inexpensive. And I just have a smoothie over here that I made. And I have some protein oatmeal in there that you can barely see because it's so dark. I don't usually eat a whole lot during these shifts. I just work from 4.45 to 9. So that is what I eat and drink and stuff during those shifts. It's really hard for me to eat this early in the morning. I have my Bible in my vehicle that I'm in right now. I'm not in my car right now. I'm in a rental. Um, which I'm going to talk about later in this video because I just don't have time right now, obviously, because I need to get to leaving. I need to go grab something out of my room and head on out. I just wanted to introduce the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and let's head on into work. I am out of work now and I just ran home real quick, changed kind of fixed my hair and am back in the truck that I am in right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this, but I was in a hydroplaning accident this weekend and I hydroplaned downhill and rear-ended someone and it was terrifying because I was trying to steer away from the car, obviously. And um, when you're hydroplaning, you can't really steer. Your car goes where it wants to go and my car wanted to rear-end someone. So, um, my car is currently in a towing lot, awaiting to see if it's totaled or not. Um, we're really hoping it isn't because the market is so, so bad for buying cars right now. I've been kind of looking around just because I don't want to get my hopes up um, that my car will be fixed. I'm in a Chevy Colorado truck right now, and I'm parked like a huge jerk right now. Like, I hate people that park the way I am parked right now, but like legit... I don't know how to park this thing. Like, it's huge. That is why I am in a big old truck. It's actually really nice. It's a 2020, I believe. Um, it's not on, so you can't see it, but, like, it has the Apple CarPlay, dark interior. I actually, like, really like it. I would never buy a truck for myself because, one, it's $60 to fill up this gas tank, and the mileage is awful. So, we'll never drive a truck, but... It's kind of fun to have as a rental. I am perfectly okay from my accident. I have a super bruised arm and it's been swelling, so that's why I have medicine. I have like a anti-inflammatory medication that I forgot to take last night and this morning, so we're gonna take it now. It's still the morning, so it's fine. It is pretty banged up. It really hurts. Um, but definitely could have been a whole lot worse. So I'm super grateful enough of my accident I'm going to Aldi for groceries gonna run to the tanning bed and then I'm going into Target because this is so embarrassing, but I forgot My razor my deodorant and my toothbrush at my parents house I have not brushed my teeth today and I just went to work with stank breath I'm gonna try to make it back for my noon class um, I don't really want to go so I don't really care if I make it back or not, but I probably should go and we are jamming to Christmas music the whole way there. Um, I think my Spotify, I'll link it down below. I don't know if it's always in the description. I'm listening to my Spotify Christmas music playlist because it is November 1st now and it's socially acceptable for like 50% of people. The other 50% that are Christmas haters, that are always like, you skip Thanksgiving. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I just like Christmas music. And Christmas decor, I'm still thankful, okay? And that's that. I'm going to go ahead and get going so I can get out of this awful parking job. And I will talk to you guys when I get to Aldi. I just made it to Aldi. The sun is really bright, making it awful lighting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head inside, grab a couple things that I need. And it should only take a couple minutes. I just got out of Aldi. I was like in and out, so I didn't take any footage in there. I'll show you guys what I got real quick. I got some gluten-free pretzels. Vanilla almond milk, two packs of salad, Alfredo sauce, heavy whipped cream, and mozzarella cheese. And that is all that I needed for 
uh, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner this week. I'm gonna head on over to Target first and then go to the tanning bed. I'm gonna try to find frozen broccoli in at Target. Aldi was out of it. Only going for the essentials. I'm not gonna get extra crap that I don't need. I am telling myself right now I'm not gonna get extra stuff at Target. Might look at the Christmas decor actually. We'll see. I don't know. No, I don't need anything. All right, so it's kind of windy, so I don't know if you can hear me very well. I am walking into Target currently. Hopefully, just gonna buy the things I came in here for, but we all know how Target is. I might look at the Christmas decor because I just saw someone's Instagram story of the Target Christmas decor and it was really cute. So, keep you guys updated. I'm back in the car. I got a little bit of Christmas decor, nothing major. I just got a couple things out of the dollar section, really. I'm trying to find my tanning goggles so I can go into Suntan City. And then there's a five and below over there. So I am thinking about looking at the Christmas stuff in there. And then we're going to head home. I don't think I'm going to make it to my noon class today. Let's go ahead and tan real quick and then pop on into five and below. I switched to the high pony. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, I'm currently walking over to five below or is it five and below? I can't remember. I'm going to see what Christmas stuff they have there. I just talked to my mom, and if I end up going home this weekend, we're going to go Christmas decor shopping. So that will be in Vlogmas. That won't be in this vlog. I'm super excited. Um, Hobby Lobby is 50% off right now. So um, I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot in five below. I just kind of want to see what they have. <laughs> okay, I'm back home with Macy. I'm going to show you guys what I got. Target, and this is the Christmas stuff I got. This little snow Christmas tree. These cute little, little pine cones. Two little glass Christmas trees from the dollar section. Oh, I didn't tell you this, Macy. I forgot my toothbrush at my parents' house, my deodorant, and my razor. So I had to get some Target. And I got frozen broccoli. And a deodorant for my gym bag. And then I found five and, is it five below? Five below. These are stockings, Macy. Look, they're just red. I'm gonna hang them. Oh, they're the wall. cute. They're just like basic stockings. And then I got candy. I got mini Starburst and the good, the trolley gummy worms. And I have a package, I think, from Liquid IV. And I have a code with them, but I can't remember it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up and put it on the screen. But they sent the hydration multiplier. What flavor is this? Watermelon. And then the hydration and strawberry. This is passion fruit. I don't know what the difference is between the boxes and the bags. And then this one is berry. I will look up my discount code and put it on the screen. If you guys are unfamiliar with Liquid IV, one of these packets equals three bottles of water. They are basically a hydration mix. It contains electrolytes and five essential vitamins. I am just so excited to try these flavors. They seriously sound so yummy. I am going to try these later on in the vlog and I'll show you guys when I do that. Thank you so much Liquid IV for sending me all of these. I did a quick poll on my Instagram story to see um, which Liquid IV I should try first and strawberry one. So we are going to go to the kitchen and get a cup of water and mix it and go ahead and try it. I just mixed up the strawberry hydration multiplier and I was gonna do my first reaction like on camera, but I am impatient and couldn't wait. And it is so freaking good, you guys. If you guys know those um, like dum dum suckers, the strawberry flavor, that is what that tastes like. It is so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. I looked up my code, it is Madeline A. Powers. I will leave a link to Liquid IV down below and you can use that code. Get 25% off of your order and free shipping, which is an incredible deal. I highly recommend the strawberry. I'm so excited to try the other flavors. But I think for right now, I just lit a candle and I went over my October goals and wrote my November ones. So I use um, Julia K. Christ's little goal notebook she made, which is, it's just so cute and aesthetic looking. Um, and 
for October, I did not meet all my goals. I completed four out of eight, which is not good. That is a 50% fail, but don't worry. I rewrote my November goals. Um, first one, two YouTube videos per week. Same as last month, Let's see if I can actually meet it. My second one is three in feed posts and one reel per week. I really wanna get better about reels. I have um, a collaboration um, with Rosen Remington, which is a boutique I used to work at, and I actually have to post two reels a month for them. So I just need to cover two of the reels <laughs> myself. Just on TikTok every day, which I think I can easily do. Um, I wanna hit 20K on TikTok. I want 525 subscribers here on YouTube, I'm hoping. I stick with my two videos a week that that will happen 3875 followers on instagram if you guys don't follow me on instagram link is down below i want to pre-film and edit five vlogmas videos my next one is to read my bible every day close all of my rings on my apple watch because i've never had a perfect month of closing all three of my rings the next one is a goal for a dollar amount in my creator fund on tiktok which I'm not going to disclose that number to get started on some christmas collabs christmas is like the time of year for influencers to get brand deals and stuff so i want to start working on those and the next one is to be thankful because it's november and that is the month of thanksgiving so those are my november goals and i feel like writing down my goals really helps me to work harder towards them if i see them literally on paper in front of my face i think now what i'm gonna do is pick up my room and sip on my liquid iv and get hydrated i get my room picked up and looking nice i have some laundry going right now it's almost two o'clock and i'm about to leave for my physics class i'm trying to hurry up and chug this really quick i'm gonna go ahead and pack up my backpack and head on over to my physics lecture I just made it home from my physics lecture. I made, or made, I cut up an apple and scooped out some peanut butter from Trader Joe's. It's really, really good. Super yummy, just a quick snack. I'm gonna try to finish my physics homework up real quick and then I schedule my classes at 4.30 and I set an alarm because I cannot miss this because I have a really good schedule like planned right now and I don't want my classes to fill up and I'm just super nervous that my classes that I want are gonna fill up I don't think they will because everyone I've talked to schedules after me. So hoping and praying that I can get in the classes that I want. Whoop whoop. Got the exact schedule I wanted. Oh, you're zoomed in a little bit. Exact schedule I wanted for spring. Ah! semester hi sorry super excited for next semester i hope it's a lot better i'm actually back in exercise science classes um this semester i have one exercise science class and the rest are all like my prereqs and stuff and classes for my minor that i don't even want to use anymore so that's awesome too my outfit this is a defined jacket dupe it's from yogalicious i have a lulu cool racer back tank on in black and then camo aligns so um i I'm going to finish up here on my laptop and then leave for burn class here in a little bit. All right, you guys, I made it here to the barcode for my burn class. Uh, I'm waiting a few more minutes to go in. The keys on this truck are super weird and you have to like turn it off a certain way for the key to come out of the ignition. And I'm trying, cause I have to keep restarting it to turn it back off to bring the key out. So like, I've just been sitting here turning the truck off on and off trying to get the key out and it's really embarrassing i'm gonna go ahead and do that and head on in to my class i don't know how many clips i'll be able to take in there it's the same clips that are in every vlog every time i go to the barcode so it's really nothing different or special but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head on in and i will talk to you guys after my class i just got out of my burn class it was so so good it's basically the same as bar just in the sauna room and something about being in a heated room makes the workout a bajillion times harder. I got out about 12 minutes ago and I stayed and helped clean off the props and stuff. I can't remember. I don't think I said this on my channel, but I have a job at the barcode now. I just work at the front desk. So I was helping them clean stuff off. Ian is watching the third season of You right now. If you have finished the third season, comment your thoughts because I would love to know. He's finishing it right now and he just keeps texting me his thoughts and updates and it's really, really funny. I'm gonna go ahead and head on home. I'm making a fettuccine alfredo bake 
for dinner for this week. So I'm very excited to make that. I'm gonna go ahead and head on home. I got home a little bit ago. Um, I was on the phone talking to my mom, so that's why I haven't vlogged yet, but I am currently making dinner. I am just cooking the chicken and the pasta. I'm snacking on the everything but the bagel kettle chips from Trader Joe's. They are phenomenal. I also got some broccoli and I'm gonna cut that up into smaller pieces and mix that in the bake as well. Super excited, I think it's gonna be really good. But I'm gonna let everything cook and I will show you guys the finished product. All right, y'all, here she is about to go into the oven. She looks beautiful, she looks delicious. So excited. This is the final product. She is nice and crispy on top. Looks so freaking yummy, I cannot wait to eat this. All right, y'all, so I am just eating my dinner in my bed and I tried a bite of it and it is phenomenal, okay? So I think I'm just gonna lay in bed and finish my dinner and then shower and head on to bed. So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog right here because I'm not really doing anything else today, just kind of relaxing and unwinding and getting ready for the night. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know, leave a comment down below and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. <laughs>